Welcome to the uh, UVW unwrapping demonstration. Uh, we're going to be using this low poly model of a head. Now the first things first, uh, make sure that you don't collapse your turbo smooth into the stack and that you place it above the edible poly and below the turbo smooth. Otherwise you'll be creating yourself essentially four times the amount of work. Uh, so never collapse that turbo smooth in and keep it active. Now the first things first is we have to go and lay out our uh, seams because uh, that's really how the UVW unwrap modifier is going to work and is allow us. So I quickly went ahead and used the point to point seam and the edit seam to uh, get me started. From there I can quickly select the faces and um, I'm applying a cylindrical uh, head wrap to essentially start my model out. Now a lot of people might be asking why not a pelt? You know, a pelt's really powerful, it's right there. Uh, and the main reason why is we have one too many seams to do a pelt. Uh, pelt really only works if you have one global seam. Here with the face, as you can see, we got a global one around the outside, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, so it's not going to work. But as you notice, we're going to get an extremely close result because of the tool I just used, which is the relax tool. And as you're going to notice, I'm going to use the relax tool several times throughout this demonstration um, to really help even out my mesh. And it works awesome on organic models like a human head. Um, you know, not so much for maybe a building. A building's pretty straightforward. You have your creases, you have your hard corners, those are where your uh, seams are going to go. Here with an organic model we have to hide those seams behind the ear, underneath the jawline, uh, where we can hide it with essentially hair or maybe a baseball cap or whatever. Um, here we're going to use the stitch modifier to essentially combine the top of the head to the bottom of the head. Now, I do understand that this video is going a little fast. Um, you know, hopefully you'll have a free access to download it, go through it frame by frame so you can actually see the detail that I'm going at, because it is sped up essentially uh, three times so I can get this video up on the internet. So uh, feel free to go ahead and do that, no problem there. Uh, one of the nice things about the stitch modifier, though, is it will automatically move, rotate, and scale your objects to get them to match. It's all based on that bias number. Uh, with the pelt, you know, the pelt's really nice for one seam. Here on the neck, we only really do have one seam. Uh, first things first, though, we got to get them to match, and then I'm just going to use a quick target weld to get those vertices lined up. Extremely similar workflow to stitching, except it's not going to move my object there. Instead, I'm going to use the relax modifier to essentially get those vertices to get a much more relaxed feel and to how they are more laid out in the viewport. And to do that, I need to essentially I'm going to select the appropriate area, apply a little stretching. That stretches works wonders, and as you can see, it really does uh, get nice quick results going on here. Alright, so finishing up on the mouth, uh, a couple more relaxes in there. You, know, you can do some amazing work with that relax tool, and of course you always have to go in and nudge a couple vertices around. Can't rely on just tools here. You know, sometimes you got to go and do it manually still. Um, just got to straighten out the nose. Now the, the nice thing about the ears is uh, since I already have those UV out and they only do have one edge, uh, a quick pelt map works great for those. And I just want to make sure I don't have any overlapping geometry in my UV layout because uh, that will really hamper my ability to uh, texture and texture that earlobe correctly even though it might be a small detail. Uh, to me it's important. And of course use the quick stitch modifier or the stitch tool with a zero bias to get that ear quickly on our, our model here. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is we also have the lips, you know, the eye, the, the actual parts of the eyes, the, the nostrils. Those uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the stitch tool, uh, use my weld tool, use all the tools that I have to get those essentially back to where we need to get them. Um, which is absolutely no problem. Uh, you know, it's something that we want to do. It just takes a little bit of extra time. You don't want too many extra pieces. At the very end, I'll still have my lips off to the side. That's because it's really hard to get, you know, those nice round lips that this uh, female character's head has, you know, back in the exact area that a flat lip, because that's essentially what we're doing with UV unwrapping. We're flattening everything out so we can't get those round lips in that flat mouth area. So I'll leave those off to the side. Uh, that's no big deal, but. Uh, the most part we want to get this done. And as you notice, here is the complete product. Uh, everything is back into our original square, it has to be. And notice how few seams we actually have at the very end. One around the neck, travels up to the top of the head, the mouth, the eyes, and you know, all the ones straight forward. Don't forget, we can render that out and save it. 
and of course texture that in another program.